Hi, I'm Kim, and welcome to Nutritional Healing's Wall of Shame. Tis the season! We know you love this time of year, who doesn't? But the obsession with pumpkin flavored coffee is a little over the top. Let's take a look at a pumpkin. I don't know why, but nothing says fall like drinking a pumpkin. We obviously know you're not drinking these pumpkin coffee drinks for the health benefits, but it's better than dessert, right? No! So why are we voluntarily drinking a coffee drink that tastes like a candle? And I don't mean how a candle smells, I mean how a candle actually tastes. We're not asking you to give up your coffee, but does that mean you really have to have a pumpkin milkshake? If you order up a non-fat grande, it's going to give you over 50 grams of sugar. I mean, that's more than you need in your daily coffee. Isn't that more than soda? <laughs> so let's talk about pumpkin. Okay, it's not like they're actually putting pumpkin in these, or even real pumpkin spice. It's pumpkin spice syrup, which means that that's where all that sugar's coming from. When you look what's in that pumpkin spice syrup, it's really more like a pumpkin spice science project. So let's talk about the McDonald's pumpkin latte. A natto extract. Color. Preservative potassium sorbate. Xanthan gum. Because everything in nature starts with an X. Now on to everyone's favorite, the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. You get two doses of class four caramel coloring. That's heated up ammonia. You get a toxic dose of sugar. That's bad. And pesticide residue. You didn't want bugs anyway. More of the story is think about what's in your drink. There are lots of healthy ways that you can enjoy fall treats. If you need any help with that, give us a call.